So, I'm back on the northwest coast of Scotland, on the bonny shores of Loch Tarden. Uh, today's Monday morning. We're going to try to survive out here till Wednesday. So, we'll see what happens. So I originally went up to the forest, I wanted to try and build a shelter and survive up there but uh, water source wasn't so good and I got absolutely molested by midges and clegs so I've uh, come down to the coast and hope to escape them uh, before there I collected some uh, branches from a bedding I'm just going to pot along the coast and see if I can be as lucky as last time if we find a cave or a sort of overhanging rock Basically the same situation as last time, uh, I've got a backpack with the same concept, um, I've got a bag of oats, uh, that's the only food I have with me, so uh, I'm going to need to again catch or find everything else. This looks pretty promising, looks like someone or something has already flung these Thanks a wood over. It is pretty good to me. A little bit far wood. There's a lock just up there. May have to do. So I made a bed platform out of driftwood. Uh, and I've made a mattress out of pine fronds I got from the forest. So uh, I'm only really sheltered from the rain. Just as long as the wind doesn't change dramatically. Mm -hmm. There's toads that are living <laughs> underneath the crack, but you know, we nice to have some company. Yeah, home sweet home. Found a bit of a crab pot that I've turned into a pot stand. i put the pot there. I'm going to need to go fishing if I want to get some dinner. Now this is uh, cotton grass. I uh, can't remember the Latin, so sorry Paul. But it's uh, it's really good tinder. So you can collect a bunch of these. It uh, catches the spark really easy. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Woo! First catch then. This is a mackerel. The in the Chula family. <laughs> so this is a safe, uh, otherwise known as a coli. This, my friends, is a pollock. Yeah! <laughs> it's getting worried there because uh, I lost two of my lures. But, uh, so I was about to give up just for them to. Uh, I was just thinking, oh, just a couple casts, a couple more casts. So glad I did. Oh well, back to camp, I think. So I've got the bog cotton I collected earlier. See where I'm robbed. Woo! <laughs> so this is called wild thyme. It's really small pink flowers. If you crush them up, mm, they smell really good. Um, so you can use this to flavor foods or uh, just by themselves, they make a really nice tea. And this is called crowberry. And these small green leaves and these big black berries. And these uh, berries are edible. It's really better to cook them. So, I'm going to a bunch of these. Just preparing a fillet of pollock. I'm going to make a stew out of. I've got the safe and then the mackerel in the grill. Hopefully, 
something tasty. So I added some crowberries to the stew. <laughs> it's going like a weird purple color. I think I might add some uh, oats. We'll make like a oaty berry pollocky stew. <laughs> one barbecued mackerel and one barbecued sea. Served on a piece of driftwood. Mmm. You can't beat barbecued mackerel. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Um, Pollock on glooper. It's food. And I love food. End of the first night. <laughs> Wake up some sleep. Mm. So, for breakfast, well, I'm cooking up some uh, pine needle and wild thyme tea. And I'm going to use that to cook my oats and crowberries. Hopefully give it some flavor. I think today, I've still got half a pollock. It's over there. I tried to uh, smoke it last night, but it was just too big for that fire. So it didn't really work well. So it was kind of half cooked. So I've kept it in a plastic bag. Yeah, kept it in the shade, so hopefully the flies won't get to it. But yeah, let's go foraging. So this small plant with bright green leaves here, this is called Pinguicula vulgaris, or the butterwort. And uh, if you feel the top of the leaves, they have like a, a greasy feel to them. And this is a, this is a antibacterial. So traditionally they can, um, traditionally they used to crush up these leaves into a paste and you could uh, put them on wounds and stuff to uh, stop them from getting infected. It's a good one to know. The nettle is another good edible. Uh, be nice in a stew or making a soup. Uh, so this is what I was hoping to find. This is Rumex acetosa or sheep sorrel. They've, uh, I always think, kind of like a an arrowhead or something or a spearhead and these can just be eaten raw and got a really nice lemony taste so I really wanted to try this with fish well I did not expect to get another one of these look at the size of him I think he's quite as big as the other one but oh. This is a good fishing spot. Now this is Mirica Galley, otherwise known as Bog Myrtle. If we crush up the leaves, it's got a really nice fragrant smell. Now the traditional uses um, of this were of insect repellent, um, but they also used as soaps and deodorants. So, I've got a log, I'm going to use it for it. Experimental dish. Uh, I salvaged some of the meat off the pork yesterday. Didn't didn't look too dodgy. <coughs> uh, and then I cut up some of the sorrel, 
some of the younger looking nettles, some crowberries. Well, it looked like it turned out much the same as yesterday's. Although it tastes probably twice as bad. Uh, hopefully this will be better, this is the main course. This is a big chunk of that pollock I cut this afternoon. The pollock and the sorrel. Mmm. It's really good, the lemony. So, it's the last night of the trip. Uh, and even though this is only the second time I've done a trip like this, I already feel like I'm, I've built on lessons from the stuff I learned the last time. Um, I've been pretty lucky again. Uh, I haven't stumbled across a deer this time, but I've been pretty damn lucky with uh, the fishing and the weather. Midges haven't been too bad either. Yeah, I've got a mug of strawberry and pine needle tea. I'm just enjoying the evening. So, that's the end of the trip. Uh, I think I've slowly but surely improved in some of the things from the last trip. There's still plenty to learn. Uh, I want to say a big thanks to everyone that supported me in the last video. Uh, it's really nice for people to give me support to do this sort of stuff. I want to say thanks to Kyle for sending me this beautiful knife. And, uh, yeah. See you in the next trip. Bye, Gabe.